Dear students, myself Fasil VK. Actually, I am a faculty under Kerala Technological University. So today, let us can start with the energy auditing fourth module. So in that first topic, that is HVAC. That means heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems. So what do you mean by air conditioning systems? We all know that inside a particular room, if you are cooling, then that are coming under its air conditioning systems that means the basic thing what we are doing under HVAC systems that means AC system that is refrigerating systems refrigeration means <coughs> we are extracting the heat from the room and that heat we are taking into outside okay so for that commonly we are using a refrigerating system so that refrigerating system commonly working with the help of refrigerant okay refrigerant so uh, actually what they are doing with the help of evaporators we are absorbing the heat from the room and that is we are taking into outside the same thing only we are doing in case of fridge also so inside the in case of fridge commonly what we are doing we are absorbing the heat from the cabin and that heat we are taking into outside both the cases are the same only that means air conditioning system and fridge so in both situations we are absorbing the heat and that heat we are taking into outside systems which we have cooled so that system we can call it is called as refrigerator systems the working fluid we are using inside the refrigeration so that is we can call it as refrigerant the equipments used for refrigerating systems that Equipments we can call it as refrigerating systems. All the equipments corresponding to refrigerators that we can call it as refrigerating systems. Next, we can go through the applications. So, commonly, what are the applications of refrigerating systems? So, in form for preserving the perishable materials like fishes, medicines, vegetables, dairy products, etc. Similarly, we can use it in case of air conditioning system. That means, in order to remove the heat from the room. Both in the case of fridge and the refrigerating systems, commonly we are using a system called vapor compression systems. So, in case of vapor compression systems, they have four sections. So, in case of refrigerating systems, commonly we are using vapor compression system. So, this is the vapor compression system. So, through the four portions, our refrigerant is flowing. Okay. So, what actually evaporator is doing? That is absorbing the heat from the atmosphere. And while the refrigerant flowing from this point to this point, it will convert into vapor state and that refrigerant moves into the compressor what actually the compressor is doing that is compressing the vapor refrigerant so due to that reason that vapor refrigerant can convert into liquid state by absorb by ex by remo removing the heat which can which is included in that refrigerant so so while it reaches in the condenser that releases the total heat present inside the refrigerant and that the refrigerant moves towards the expansion device expansion device that expands the vapor that expands the liquid refrigerant actually while it is moving from the condenser section that refrigerant that will be in the form of liquid state so that is we are giving into the expansion valve so expansion valve that is that what it is doing it is expanding that liquid vapor liquid refrigerant after expansion that liquid refrigerant we are giving into evaporator so again that liquid refrigerant can convert into vapor by absorbing the heat from the room that is not only our evaporator is in the room so the evaporator section is going to be able to get the heat from the room in the room the refrigerant is going to be able to get the heat from the vapor state ரும்ப்பரசர் 
വേപ്പർ സ്റ്റേറ്റിലുള്ള റെഫ്രിജറേറ്റർ എന്ത് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും അതിൻ്റെ കയ്യിലുള്ള ഹീറ്റ് പുറത്തേക്ക് കൊടുത്തിട്ട് കണ്ടൻസിൽ നിന്ന് അത് ലിക്വിഡ് സ്റ്റേറ്റിലേക്ക് ആയി മാറാൻ പറ്റും ഓക്കെ അപ്പോൾ അങ്ങനെ ലിക്വിഡ് സ്റ്റേറ്റിലുള്ള റെഫ്രിജറേറ്റർ വീണ്ടും നമ്മൾ എക്സ്പാൻഷൻ ഡിവൈസിലേക്ക് വരികയും അപ്പോൾ എക്സ്പാൻഷൻ ഡിവൈസ് എന്ത് ചെയ്യും ആ ലിക്വിഡ് ഫോമിലുള്ള റെഫ്രിജറേറ്ററിനെ ഒന്ന് എക്സ്പാൻഡ് ചെയ്യും എക്സ്പാൻഡ് ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ മാത്രമാണ് ഈ വാപ്പറേറ്റർ എന്ത് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുള്ളൂ ആ ലിക്വിഡ് ഫോമിലുള്ള റെഫ്രിജറേറ്ററിനെ വേപ്പർ സ്റ്റേറ്റിലേക്ക് മാറ്റാൻ പറ്റുള്ളൂ ഇങ്ങനെ ഈ റൂമിൽ നിന്ന് ഹീറ്റ് വലിച്ചെടുത്തു അപ്പം ഓട്ടോമാറ്റിക്കലി എന്താ പറയുക ഈ ഒരു സെക്ഷനിൽ എത്തുമ്പോൾ ഈ ഒരു സെക്ഷൻ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ നമ്മൾ റൂമിൻ്റെ ഏരിയ ആണ് റൂം ഏരിയ ആണ് അപ്പോൾ ഈ റൂം ഏരിയയിൽ എത്തുമ്പോൾ അത് ഹീറ്റിനെ വലിച്ചെടുത്തിട്ടുണ്ടാവും അതേസമയം നമ്മൾ ഔട്ട് സൈഡ് സെക്ഷനുമായിട്ട് ബന്ധപ്പെട്ടായിരിക്കും കണ്ടൻസ് ഉണ്ടാവും അപ്പോൾ അവിടെ എന്ത് ചെയ്യും ഹീറ്റിനെ പുറം തള്ളുകയും ചെയ്യും സോ സോ വൈ ദി റെഫ്രിജറേറ്റർ റീച്ചസ് അറ്റ് ഇവാപ്പറേറ്റർ അബ്സോർബ്സ് ദി ഹീറ്റ് ഓക്കെ ഹീറ്റിനെ ഇറ്റ് അബ്സോർബ്സ് ദി ഹീറ്റ് ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് വൈ ഇറ്റ് റീച്ചസ് നിയർ ടു ദി കണ്ടൻസ് ഓഫ് വാട്ടർ ലാപ്പിൻ releases the heat and that converts that refrigerant into the liquid form and again the cycle rotates so automatically continuously the heat from the room that is extracted and released at the condenser that means the outside section next we can go through the two terms called the refrigerating effect capacity and the coefficient of performance so what do you mean by the refrigerating capacity Refrigerating capacity means the rate of heat absorbed from the room or a body. If you are considering the air conditioning system, then the heat abstracted from the room. So that is we can consider it as refrigerating capacity for that particular room. That means for that air conditioning system. If you are considering a fridge, then the heat extracted from the body, from the bodies which present inside that cabin. okay so maybe food products okay so from that what level of heat we are abstracting okay so or absorbed so that is we can call it as refrigerating capacity its unit commonly we are using ton refrigeration or ton okay so one ton refrigeration means the level of heat we are absorbed from that room okay similarly if we are considering the fridge means the so what level of heat we are absorbing from that food products so in order to represent that we are using the unit ton refrigeration so commonly the value of 1 ton refrigeration means 3.88 kg 889 kg kilo joule of heat removed per second so that means if one air conditioning system that having one unit of one ton unit of refrigeration means it can abstract or it can absorb 3.889 kJ of heat per second okay so that is the capacity of that refrigerating system so in order to represent that capacity of the refrigerating system we are using the term ref- refrigeration refrigerating capacity okay so one ton refrigeration capacity air conditioning system means that can absorb the heat of 3.889 kJ per second okay that much of heat it can abstract or absorb from that particular room similarly another term here we are using that is coefficient of performance okay performance that means effectiveness of a refrigerator that can represent by the help of coefficient of performance cop means is a ratio what is the ratio desired refrigerating capacity with respect to work spent in producing the refrigerating effect okay so the refrigerating capacity or refrigerating effect with respect to what level of work we are spend for the same purpose okay so that is coefficient of performance namal kodukana electrical supply nanu etra maatram namak adine adine refrigerating capacity undaaki edukkan pattum ennadine represent cheyan vendi use cheyana term aanu coefficient of performance next we can go through the co-generation system so what do you mean by co-generation system generating two different forms of useful energy from a single primary primary energy source okay so we have a single primary energy source with the help of that single primary energy source if we can generate two different useful forms of energy that means that useful forms of energy that one type that is electricity and the other type of energy we are producing that is thermal energy okay so that means here we consider one example so here that useful energy 
those we are producing one is electricity here we with the help of generator we can produce the electricity 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 similarly the other form of useful energy that is thermal energy okay so <coughs> here our input that is fuel only so the fuel we are giving into the this system so with the help of boiler that fuel is burning so automatically with the help of that heat energy we can operate this turbine once this turbine rotates correspondingly electrical energy we can generate it out with the help of generator so that useful energy we are producing that is one is electrical energy and other energy that is this section so by the help of condenser we can heat we can use the heat for our requirements this above section that is we are using for this for process only so that's why here written as process okay so <coughs> nothing is there in case of cogenerating system there will be an input that means a form of energy here the fuel fuel after burning the fuel what we have getting automatically thermal energy we have getting so that is we are using for one requirements okay that means in case of paper mill automatically there we need to use there we need to get a thermal energy similarly along with that thermal energy if you are producing the electricity also so that type of generation co-generation along with along producing electricity here we are producing the thermal energy also so both are producing from the same fuel itself so that type of systems we can call it as co-generating systems okay so here we can produce both electrical energy and thermal energy from the fuel only okay fuel is by using fuel we can produce both electrical energy and thermal energy at the same time only okay so those two useful energy we can use our requirements so that's why it is we are calling as co-generation in case of normal conventional power plants its efficiency ranges in the in 35 percentage or approximately like that only and the 65 percentage are as in the form of loss only but that why because if you are burning automatically turbine rotates and electrical energy is generating and the remaining heat energy that is we are liberating into outside so automatically the remaining sections that is waste only but in case of co-generating system a portion of the heat that is we are using for our requirements this, this one is for operating this section that means for operating this generator and the remaining portions that in order to op operate the turbine automatically water and the remaining sections we need required okay this section we are using we are considering as thermal system okay for our requirements okay if you are considering thermal uh, paper mill means we are going to use thermal energy okay so and by using the same fuel we are producing both the electrical energy and the thermal energy okay so that type of systems we can call it as co-generating systems okay, we can go through the <coughs> computer aided energy management systems so what do you mean by computer aided energy management system actually it is a computer aided tool that means in order to manage the energy systems commonly we are using a computer aided tool okay. so in order to monitor control and optimize the performance performance of the generation transmission system there we required computer systems okay so with the support of computer and related areas we can manage the energy systems so that type of systems we can call it as computer aided energy management so in order to manage the energy systems we are getting the help from the computer aided tools okay so SCADA we all know SCADA means supervisory control and data acquisition system so with the help of SCADA we can monitor and control the energy systems so it's also includes under computer in aided energy management systems SCADA includes computer aided energy management systems <coughs> energy management software means what there are set of so softwares with the help of that set of softwares we can we can manage we can manage energy systems okay like utility bill tracking real time metering lighting control systems etc we are these are we can do with the help of energy management softwares so set of softwares also available so 
these are the main portions of the in a computer aided energy management system that means there will be SCADA system then there will be energy management softwares and uh, that we are connecting with the power systems so with the help of these sections we can manage the power systems so what are the objectives of computer aided energy management systems that means power system we can make it more stable and secure with the help of computer aided energy management systems and also maintaining frequency in order to set the frequency at a particular level so that's also we can do with the help of computer aided energy management systems operations most of the operations we can make it more economic okay real time and reactive power control that we can do with the help of computer aided energy management systems so in case of power systems commonly we need to go through the maintenance sections okay maintenance and related things which we need to consider so the proper scheduling we can do with the help of computer aided energy management system 